Good morning, everyone. Catherine Keller here. And today, apparently, George, Georgie, is going to be joining us. And um, I didn't have the heart to kick him off, so he's going to hang out up there, which is ironic because I'm talking about a very girly quote today. So George is going to be our, our man to kind of back me up on this quote. But the quote for today is, keep your heels, head, and standards high. And ladies, if I could have a five-day seminar to talk about that one sentence, I still don't know that I could cover everything that I would want to cover in that because that quote right there sums up my uh, complete belief on on just what women need to, we need to have bumper stickers, we need to have t-shirts, we need to have it plastered on our mirror. Um, because if we can just keep our heels, head, and standards high, our outlook would change, our life would change in so many directions. So often, we just, um, we, we mesh with what other people's standards are, whether it's our girlfriends, whether it's a, our husband, whether it's a boy we like. I, I said that just like I was in high school. I'm really, I really am in my mid thirties. Whether it's a, a guy we like, a man we like, I should put it that way. You know, we, we tend to, um, for some reason become this little person. And we're not a little person. We are, we are, our spirit is so big and it's just contained in this very little body. But oftentimes we walk with our head down, with a heavy heart, with our low standards. And so, and I am such a girly girl. For those of you who don't know me or have, have just now been introduced to me, I love all things girly. I love high heels. I love huge wide brim hats. I love um, jewelry and medic, medic, manicures, pedicures. Um, so this is the perfect quote for me. Keep your heels, keep your head, keep your standards high. Let other people, find the people that mesh with your standards. Don't mesh your standards with other people. Find other people that have similar tastes, similar standards. When it comes to men, make sure that you understand that, you know, for me, um, I, I honestly, and I, I, I can tell you this, I have never really had a problem with meeting men uh, and me keeping my standards high. I, I am very um, cautious when it comes to men, and I am a single woman, and so it just, but I have two kids at home, and so I kind of, anytime I meet a new man, it's sort of like they're going through a job interview. I have a really great job offer right here, and um, you know, not just anybody gets through to a second interview. So it's, um, for me, very important as far as keeping those standards high um, with your work as well, keeping your standards high for yourself. You know, don't let mediocrity take over your life. You have an obligation to yourself. You have an obligation to the world to make sure that you're putting forth your very best every day. So um, that is, like I said, if you guys find anything with that quote on it, I would absolutely love it. Make sure to send it to me. If it's a mug or a, a bumper sticker or a shirt, I, I would love to have that. Keep your heels, head, and standards high. And men, I, I, I think that to a degree, this absolutely includes you as well. Maybe not the heels. Um, but keep your head and your standards high. It is uh, the base bottom line of uh, what I believe is lacking in our society today. So I hope that that was encouraging, a little bit of fun, a little bit of girly in there today. And George has left me. So <laughs> I'm going to keep my standards high. I'm waiting for the next male cat to come along. <laughs> I'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me today.